Well, school is almost out for summer, and that means that more teen drivers are going to be out on the road. CBS 17's Judith Bertana digging deeper into why the next few months are called the 100 deadliest days of summer. Friends in the car, texting and eating. They're all distractions that can lead to tragedy. Memorial Day through Labor Day is known as the 100 deadliest days of summer for teen drivers. You're driving a a, a vehicle that's several thousand pounds and um, it's it's kind of a weapon when you get behind the wheel. Jamie Kreitzer with NCDOT says teens can be in danger to others on the road and themselves. NCDOT figures from Memorial Day to Labor Day 2021 show more than 13,000 crashes involving teen drivers. In those, 29 teens died and 2,600 were injured. You know, the winter time we have slick and icy road conditions. Why does the summer tend to be a more deadly time for teenagers when the conditions are considered possibly ideal for the most part? I think, you know, kind of teenagers like a lot of us when we were that age, uh, we kind of feel like, you know, we're sort of invincible. The combination of new inexperienced drivers on the road and the general increased summer travel can make the next few months on the road a little dicey. I see a lot of uh, teenage uh, drivers who are killed in crashes um, and you find out that they were texting on their final moments of life, and, and that's really sad. Kreitzer says letting your guard down while you drive can be dangerous for kids and adults. The little decisions that you make can be the difference between life and death. Insurance companies are well aware of the risk of having a teen behind the wheel. It's why you could expect your insurance rate to increase after adding your child to your policy. Just how much that could go up is online in my story at CBS17.com. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.